Um, anyways, Ralph update chat. Um, Ralph made a little dabby dab. He saw that Gator was talking shit on the social media platform formerly known as Twitter and said, Gator, wink face. Uh, and Gator, if you want to saw what I had on deck, you might just want to check out a laugh completely. I've already reloaded, not concerned about anyone else who vacated the scene. Onwards and upwards, he says, showing off that his all day fun extended goal has indeed hit $426. A pretty decent amount of money for a day's work. How much is that? That's, that's pretty good, right? Let's see. Calc. 425, I'll say eight hours. He streams quite a bit. That's $50 an hour. That's like, geez, I want to say that's like twice. What's the American median income right now? I want to say it's like $25. American median hourly. $17. Oh my God. My boy Ralph out here over earning over three times the median income. Take that, Gator. Suck on this dick, motherfucker. Uh, he says this, but unfortunately, uh, fate had other plans in uh, in the works. Um. Oh yeah, he took loans from Stripe. Um, which so, if you if you are integrated into the Stripe ecosystem. And you have like regular, basically a lot of companies like to pay out, um, like certain income, um, that gets processed through Stripe, uh, using like, I forget the name of it. It's like a W2. No, W2 is the name of the, if you, if you are earning like contractor income from a company and the payments are processed by Stripe. And it's that kind of contractor relationship where they have to send you like a form every year. I forget. It's like a K2 or something. Um, if you have that kind of relationship with a company that uses Stripe, they will sometimes offer you credit. And then say like, if you want to take out, it's a fixed rate loan. So basically they'll say, we'll give you $5,000 and you'll pay us back, you know, $6,000 and you don't have to worry about making payments where we'll just take the money out of your income automatically as it comes in. And so that's the kind of thing that Stripes offers and they'll offer it on like every source of income that you have, um, through their system. 1099. Uh, yeah, that's it. Sorry. So that's what they, they offer. And Ralph had apparently taken advantage of that um, to, to get uh, instant cash. And um, he bragged about how um, how that arrangement works. Because it is a thing where it's, I don't think you have to pay it back in any certain amount of time. So if you take out, like, let's say they offer you like a $50,000 loan um, and you have to pay back $60,000 and they're just going to take that off your super chats. Well, if something happens and you stop making money on super chats. I don't, depending, I don't think I've never took in one of these or taken one of these. So I don't know the conditions, but I do believe they just take a percentage of all your income. So if you just start making less income, it'll just take longer to repay the loan. So what he's saying is if I did take a big loan out on Stripe, um, it'll just be paid back over time on those, uh, on that income anyways, even if it's less income. As Surf says, I mean, a fixed rate loan is definitely way better than like a, a traditional interest compounding interest loan. Um, that's how they do it in Muslim countries, because in Muslim countries, and this is this is a fun fact um, that that I like is that in Muslim countries, interest is haram. You're not allowed to uh, loan compounding interest loans. So uh, Muslim banks do these fixed interest systems where. They loan you a million dollars. They expect to be paid back a million in 100,000 or whatever the fuck. Um, and these loans from Muslim banks are becoming increasingly popular in, in Europe. Um, Muslim banks are, are getting like a lot of outside traffic just because people like the terms of like a fixed rate uh, uh, payment system instead of compounding interest. Um, yeah, so and that's what Stripe does. So I mean, it's it's better than like a yeah. I would definitely prefer that kind of loan over a compounding interest rate rate loan, unless you know that you're gonna pay back immediately. But nobody ever does. So it is funny how all religions have something about banking and debt. 
not all religions, just ones around Israel for some reason. Very fascinating. Uh, but he had an issue because... No, okay, this is uh, unrelated. I thought this would be the explanation that um, Super Chat or Power Chat has gone under. The payment system that's used by a lot of people on Cozy has been uh, denied access by Stripe. Actually, let me search this real quick. I can't find it. I thought it was Power Chat. Oh, here. Um, as of November 2nd, PowerChat.Live began experiencing a complete and site-wide outage of all Stripe services, including OAuth account linking, Stripe Express account creation, and all payment-related services that rely on Stripe. The cause of this outage is because PowerChat.Live account was closed by Stripe unexpectedly and without reason. For the last week, we have done our very best to communicate with Stripe and give them a chance to rectify the situation behind closed doors, and while we are still hopeful that the situation can be resolved, we feel it's important to update the community about our loyal user base about the situation. Our business has had long-standing relationship with, for years with Stripe, and we believe that our services, our account, and our interactions with Stripe are complete, in complete compliance with Stripe's terms of service and policies. We have not yet been notified of the reason for the closure of the account. For those of you that rely on Stripe and PowerChat for the operation of your streaming business, we sincerely apologize for the interruption. Please rest assured that we have and are doing everything in our power to restore the operation and Stripe services. Uh, as well as exploring alternative payment solutions that may fit our needs and your needs. So this is a continuation of the same shit that keeps fucking happening. It's never going to stop. Like, I don't The banking shit is like, it's like you either learn crypto or you're fucking cattle. Like, the, it's just, it's an unbelievable reality. Like, if you really sit down and you think about it, it's just unfathomable that there is a company called MasterCard and Visa Card and Stripe and Discover Card and Amex. And if any one of these companies decides you do not get to do business, you do not get to do business. There's no appeals process. You can't sue. You can't you can't even sue to figure out why. You're just cut off. And we all accept this. 350 million people who could theoretically um, do something about this are just allowing themselves to live under the thumb of mastercard visa card and they don't they don't care they're just not like like every single person in the country has a mastercard or visa card credit card or debit card in their wallet and they swipe it like every day they use it online every day they pl plug it into google pay and they use it every day and none of them stop and think like yeah if this shit decides that I can't use their service anymore, I'm just cut out from like society. I'm like a leper. I'm not allowed to, to spend or receive money anymore. And nobody cares enough to do anything about it. Um, the one, the one time, and I, I still think about this and I, I cry myself to sleep. The controller of currency tried to pass and actually did pass regulations saying that all payment provide all payment networks and payment services uh, must provide equitable access to um, their networks. And literally as soon as this was passed, the guy resigned immediately, Joe Biden took office, and then the new controller of currency immediately, literally the first day that Joe Biden was in office, this shit went down. They, they got rid of it the day he took power. The very day, not even 24 hours, the same fucking day he was in power. This was the first thing to go. This was priority number one. Get rid of that shit. More than anything else, uh, make sure that people don't have access to credit cards uh, unless they're, they're good boys. Just thinking about it makes me angry, chat. I don't know how to, how to think about it. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.